help. I've got a biased judge. Or at least that's the way some people contact me. And I get to hear about all these different biased judges. I'm Jim Craveld, founder of Craveld Family Law. And over the years, I get to hear, well, I've got a biased judge. In almost 30 years, I've come to conclude that there are probably three different areas that lead to bad decisions. First of all, the client may not have known the court rules. They didn't know how to submit appropriate pleadings. Their motion was defective. They didn't file a response. They didn't know how to get exhibits admitted. And pretty much the fact that they weren't an attorney or they weren't an, expe an expert at practicing family law, they didn't know how to present their evidence and they got a bad ruling. The second option is they may have actually had really bad facts. And the other attorney or the other side knew how to present those bad facts and you got a bad ruling. And the third option is you may have had a judge who was either super ornery that day, didn't like you that day, or may have actually been a little bit biased. There are biased judges. There are judges that simply don't like certain people. But to show true bias, which is extremely difficult, you got to have a judge that, that blatantly admits that they really don't like you. That's usually not the case. So let's look at these three different scenarios. If you're going to an attorney after a bad ruling, find out, did you know how to get your evidence admitted? Did you know which arguments to make? Did you know what the law was? Did you know what your standard of proof was? Did you know what you had to prove? These are all things that an experienced family law attorney can help you with. Secondly, if you've got bad facts, don't keep going back in front of that judge with these bad facts. If it's because you had a drunk driving, then jump through the hoops of showing your sobriety that you are actually taking care of your problem and that you can go back to court in the future and say, Judge, I'm on top of that. If you got an anger management problem, you caught a domestic violence charge, or you got even an assault and battery charge, are you on probation? Have you overcome that? Are you getting therapy? All of these things, you can go back to court with evidence to show that you've taken care of your issue that caused the judge to rule against you in the first place. Thirdly, if you've got an ordinary judge, figure out how to get on their good side. It might mean hiring an attorney, hiring a different attorney, maybe figuring out that what you did last time wasn't the right method with this particular judge. You argued A, B, and C. Maybe you should have argued X, Y, and Z. But taking the same tactic and beating the judge over the head with it and trying the same thing in the same style isn't going to get you ahead. So again, a different perspective with a different attorney might turn the corner. It might mean your approach. And I've seen it with clients that have tried on their own and they go back three, four times and judge keeps saying, no, 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 no. Try a different tactic. Maybe give it some time, depending on how urgent it is or not urgent. And those are things that you can consider. So having an attorney who can objectively look at, did you know how to present your case? Did you know how to present the facts in a light most favorable to you? And can you present it in a different way that doesn't upset the judge? Well, probably ways to address whether or not your judge is biased. If you have a case where your judge is truly biased, probably not going to get rid of them. Filing a motion to recuse them quite likely isn't going to happen unless they have said something or done something that is blatantly inappropriate. And that can happen for which you really ought to have an experienced attorney review it and say, wow, this is egregious. We need to address this. For that, you're going to, again, have to visit an attorney who has the experience with family law. If you have any questions regarding this or a bad ruling from a judge, feel free to contact us. Thank you. Until next time.